super exciting day for me today. I'm actually gonna ride my bike outside. Um, I've been ill for uh, like the last week, so I've been indoors on the turbo trainer, which um, normally I like, but has become pretty boring. Um, and what's been particularly annoying about it is I took delivery of my brand new gravel bike from Marin, this little beauty here, and I've not been able to ride it yet. But today, that changes. I'm gonna go out for my first ride, so I thought I'd show you the bike before I go. So, here she is. This is uh, the new Marin Headlands. And the funny thing about this bike is, Dave has exactly the same one, because um, he's also sponsored by Marin. I think, however, that mine looks cooler because I have changed some of the parts for really, really awesome new special parts. So let's start with the amazing wheels. Oh, there's definitely a bit of disc rub there. <laughs> anyway, I've put on my zip 303s. Um, these are amazing carbon wheels and um, I raced on these all last year and I love them. I have also got on the um, WTB Nanos. I want to try and show you a little bit more closely, otherwise it's just me sitting here talking. These are 40C uh, wide and I find that this is pretty much perfect for most of my needs. Um, I've raced in a lot of different conditions with these and I just feel confident in them so I'm going to keep them on. What else have I changed? Ah, oh yes, um, super important, I've changed the bars. Um, seeing as they're sponsored by Zip and SRAM, I'm very lucky I've been sent all these nice parts, and they sent me their new gravel specific or bike packing specific bars. These are the SL70, oh sugar, sugar. I, I, I think I've forgotten what they're called. I put this on my phone because I knew I would probably forget in the heat of the moment. Sorry, bear with me guys. It is the SL70 Explore. It's the SL70 Explore bars. See, I did get it right. And what's different about these is that they're flared. So, let me turn this around properly. You can see that the drops flare out on either side, which means that you can put your bike packing bags in the middle and you can still shift because the bags don't get in the way of the shifters. Now, I find, um, Putting bike packing bags on my gravel bike can be a bit of a problem because I'm small and therefore ride a small bike, but a lot of the bags are just a standard size. So um, this is really cool to have the flared bars. Also, I generally have wider bars on my gravel bikes, um, which means that you can fit the bags more easily. But also, that I do that because um, I think it gives you more, uh, gosh, I'm sniffing away and forgetting what I'm trying to say. The other reason I do that is because it gives you more control particularly on any descents. Personally, I wouldn't want to be descending on narrow little bars like that. Um, I prefer wide bars and also I just think it's generally more comfortable. In fact, I'm thinking about putting wider bars on my road bikes. I know it's less aero, but um, you know, I just think comfort is one of the most important things. And I think if you're comfortable, then you'll go faster. If you're aero but super uncomfortable, well, it, it's, it's counterproductive. Anyway, what else have I got on this bike? I've got SRAM Apex group set, hydraulic discs, obviously. A bit more about the frame. This Marin Headlands is full carbon, designed to be run with this one by crank. And uh, I'm just excited to ride it. Dave raced the Rift in Iceland on his last year and he loved it. The bike, I, I don't know about the race, it actually looked pretty kind of, pretty hard, I mean 200 kilometers out in Iceland where it's so windy, that's, that's savage. But he absolutely loves the bike and I can't wait to try mine. I think you guys should let us know whose looks cooler, mine or Dave's. Let us know in the comments below and say mine because this is my channel. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get changed, saddle up and take this for a first ride. Let's see what it's like. I unexpectedly need sunglasses. It's sunny, what the? Anyway, I'm just gonna head out quickly on a local bridleway loop. I just wanna ride this bike outside. I mean, all I've done over the last week is, well, be ill, do no riding, and then I've done some turbo training. I mean, woohoo. So I'm gonna get out in the last of the sunshine, try it out. Yes, first ride! Oh, bugger. <laughs> some pedals would probably be helpful. I mean, and shoes, but Definitely pedals, right. By the time I've finished parting about, 
sun will have gone down. The days are so short. It is the shortest day of the year soon though, so joy! I don't mind winter, I just find it's hard to find enough time to do things in daylight. Maybe I've got half an hour before the sun goes down. I'm gonna make the most of it though. The keen-eyed amongst you, or just everyone, <laughs> might have noticed this monstrosity. Doesn't it look terrible having so much steerer poking up? But you know what? I'm just in a hurry and I just wanna go and ride my bike, so whatever, I will deal with that later. Just a quick ride to see what she's like and I'll tell you what, it's a good job that that's all I'm doing because I've learned more about my own skills as a mechanic than I've learned about the bike. Look at this. Um, yeah. Look how wonky the bars are. So apart from the fact that I haven't done the stem up properly and the bars aren't on straight, also I think the headset is slightly loose. Apart from that, she's lovely. Whoa! Oh Jesus. Fit wise, it seems great. This is the size small, a uh, 52 centimetre. The geometry feels lovely. I'll tell you what, it's super comfy. Um, I've been considering switching some parts around, maybe putting a suspension seat post on there and also potentially maybe try trying a lauf fork. I don't know if I'm even gonna need to do that straight off. It feels really comfy, but you know, I've got really good tires on, I've got nice wide bars and you know the, the frame layup is super nice so it's stiff around the bottom bracket but it's not overly stiff in other places so it does feel comfortable. I think I possibly might still try some of the other stuff, some of the suspension stuff just because I'm curious and I want to know what it feels like on a gravel bike. Obviously I had the Future Shock on the Diverge so that, that suspension but now I'm just gonna do a couple more trails I'm gonna straighten up my bars I probably should just go straight home but I'm gonna hit a couple of bridleways on the way back and then I'm gonna give this bike a really good going over and make sure that I haven't made any other stupid errors luckily I'm close to home I mean I'm just totally under, under prepared for this ride I didn't know I was gonna have the chance to get out I've got no water I haven't actually actually put the bottle cage on there I've also got inappropriate footwear I really wanted to wear my uh, mountain bike boots, like the ankle boot things, uh, the silly looking ones, but you know, they keep your feet warm and dry. But I was just in such a rush to get out of the house. Man, it's such a short ride. It's hardly worth getting my bike dirty. Now I'm gonna have to clean it. I hate cleaning my bike. Cleaning bikes in winter. It gets mega tedious. I made it back without any major incidents. Um, so before I go in and resume the madness that is being a mother, I thought I'd give you a quick look at the bike because I realised that when I was in the house, maybe you didn't actually get to see that much of it because it was just my big fat face in a way and not enough bike. So let's have a look. Here she is in all her muddy glory. Rather nice, don't you think? I suppose I don't have to wash that much off. It's just the odd bit, but still, oh, I hate cleaning bikes. If I leave them for too long, our daughter sees them in the hall and she's like, look, daddy, look, daddy, mummy, naughty, naughty, dirty, dirty bike, need clean it, mummy. <laughs> so I think I better get the, get the pressure washer out and I'll give this a going over. But anyway, although that was short, it was pretty sweet. It's nice to try my new bike. Thanks, Marin, for sending it over. I've also got a really cool cross-country bike that I'm going to show you guys. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a great evening or the rest of your day and see you later. Bye.